my vision, now you on my crowd. Till my mind made it, I hope that she proud. Straight out of the field, put my city on the map. Might have took a nigga, but she can have him back. Shooters on deck, that's. Hi, you guys. This is TOG, and I'm currently cleaning my goat because I'm going to be making some curry goat. So, what I'm doing right now is just washing it very well with lemon and also vinegar. I put vinegar in it as well. Lots and lots of vinegar. That's why it's looking all clean and good and healthy. And I'm doing that now. Okay. I have like cleaned this over and over. I'm just very thorough when it comes to cleaning my meat. Very thorough. Like very thorough. And cleaning and everything. All the impurities and everything is out of it. So that's the meat part of it. Get this and this. Garbage. Throw it in the garbage. Be right back. So come on over here. This is all of my ingredients. Okay, I'm going to be using these ingredients. I'm new to this, by the way, if you can tell. <laughs> Very new to this. One moment. So first, this is my allspice, star anise, and bay leaves. This is the star anise. This is the allspice right here. It'll say it on a package when you purchase it. I'm going to be cutting up this onion. And then it's going to be rosemary, thyme, ginger, ginger is the bomb, I love this, great seasoning, maggie, garlic powder beef broth the best that's what I put in my goat seasoning can't forget the main ingredient curried powder and a little salt Course, is one missing ingredient that I don't have here that I'm getting right now. And that would be black pepper. Okay, what you gonna do without your black pepper? You gotta have black pepper, right? Now, I'm gonna be putting all of these ingredients in my pot. Boom going in here okay so black pepper curry garlic 
Maggie beef, beef flavor. Um, forget stop. Beef flavor stop. Sesame. Thyme. Rosemary. Onion and salt. Gotta have the salt. But those are all of my ingredients that's going in my goat. Curry goat. Don't usually use those spoons to be honest with you. But I would say it'll be a teaspoon of black pepper. But then of course you can add the seasonings to your liking. You may not like the way that I do it, which is fine. You don't have to do it my way, it's okay. It is okay, you hear me? Y'all are learning with me, by the way. I'm learning how to use my camera. I really am. I think that's a better angle, which I think. A little bit, we'll see. All right, so. That's the Maggie. Already put the pepper in already. Little bit of ginger, there we go. I would say about a teaspoon of that. Not too much ginger, it's very potent when it comes to the flavor. Now, ginger, the garlic, excuse me, I'm saying ginger, but garlic, I like to put a lot in that. I love garlic. Garlic and me get along very well. Half of a teaspoon for the salt, because you don't need that much salt. Being that, we're gonna be putting this here and there, okay? So you don't need all that salt. You really don't, because we're gonna have this in there. But, I'm gonna go ahead and do this seasoning. Bay leaves. Star anise. All spice. Sometimes, depending on what I'm doing, I cut as I go. You don't necessarily have to have it quick cut. I cut it quick. 
cut it as I go. So, here we go. We're going to be cutting. So I don't cut the onions all fine. It doesn't have to be. Because by the time it's done, it's more than likely not going to be so much as liquefied. However, it's going to be mainly I'm gonna say almost with the fire, but you're not gonna really see the onions. This is just for taste. I don't put that many onions in it, but just enough to make it right, you know? Make it tasty and yummy. This is a fulfilling dish. It's however you want to cook it. When you start to cook, if you do not cook, you'll see that you can do it however you like to. Um, it's your dish. So you say, oh, you made it wrong. Hey, I'm making it my way. You make it your way, I make it my way. Now when it comes to the curry goat seasoning, I make sure the whole top is covered. That works for me. So I would say it's about maybe four tablespoons that I just put in here. Then last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and put in this beef stock to coincide with the beef maggie. <laughs> I love Quan Tran, that's how he says it, beef and maggie. See how that filled up most of the pot? Then I put a little bit of water in this same container and add more in. Now I'm coming from this side. If you notice, I only use my spoon once. <laughs> And that's with the Maggie. But once you get into the cooking, you know, experience and you're really into it, you'll learn how to measure it, what the measurements actually are without having to use a spoon or a measuring spoon. But I would say when you first get started, please use the measuring spoons and or spoons in order to get the correct measurements for your ingredients so you don't overdo it if you notice i don't overdo it i know what to put in how to put it in and everything so now we're going to go ahead and wipe that extra spice off of the top of this right here this right here yeah wipe that on off get it all cute nice looking okay Yep, so that's all the ingredients in here now. All the ingredients. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and turn it on to high, put my lid on there. Okay. This comes with this right here, which what I have to do is twist it. Let's see if I can do it. I always have to concentrate when I do this because one side will pop off and I have to see. See that? <laughs> Let's see if we can do it again. Let's see here. Uh, put my elbows into it here. Did I got it? Did I get it this time? No, I didn't get it this time. Hold on, wait. <laughs> I think I got it this time. Okay. So it's nice and secure. Sitting up there doing the stuck fizzle. 
I will be back a little later so that we can check on it. And we'll check on it together. Okay? So we'll go ahead and check up on this together. Oops, sorry. We'll check up on this together, see how it's going. And then I'll be back to, you know, be like, hey, you guys. It's almost done. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. So when I show you this next, you're going to be like, ooh, it looks so good. All right, you guys. I will talk to you later. I'll be back. Okay, you guys. It's me again. And this is the curry goat at four hours. I don't think it really needs to cook that much longer, actually. I'm gonna let it cook for another hour. Then I'm going to go ahead and let it go. But now, if you notice, there's like a lot of grease. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this grease up out of here. See that? Well, not grease, but fat, a lot of fat. So I'm gonna do that. Take the spices that hold on. And take our goodness out. Also made some dough for dumplings. All you need, okay, is flour and water to make dumplings. That's all you need, you guys. It's just that simple. You put the flour in your bowl. I would say start off with a cup and a half of flour and a half a cup of water. Continue, continue to churn it with your hands, okay, until it gets nice and firm. I'm going to show you what it ends up looking like. Once I get most of this fat up out of here, I'll be able to show you a picture of the fat. It's not, it's not hard at all. It's really not. some jasmine rice to go with it, okay? So jasmine rice is going to be the finishing touch with this. Might, you might think that it's a lot of starch because I'm doing jasmine rice along with it, but it is what it is, you know? So I'm gonna let that sit, push this back, okay? Let that get started again on the cooking process. 
This is my dough. I'm gonna go ahead and get it situated for you and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so this is the dough that I created, that I made myself, okay? We're just gonna go ahead and double it like this, okay? And then again, like this. And you may wanna get extra, you know, um, flour so it doesn't stick. I personally don't care, you know, I'm not trying to make it all that perfect. I'm just trying to get her in and get her done. Since I'm leaving this in here for about another hour, it won't take long for the dough to cook. Well, dumpling, excuse me, I'm saying dough, but it's actually dumpling. So, this is done. By the way, just to let you know, my inspiration is to do this is actually with, um, oh, who's my inspiration? It's many, uh, but the main ones would be Quan Tran, he's, he's who I started watching first. And then I started watching Wonderful Be Love. She is so awesome, she's awesome sauce. Go ahead and get this situated. She um, really, inspired me to do more you know and inspired me to start doing this so it's kind of fun <laughs> to see the ending process it's really really cool i love it you know i really do so all right we got that we'll go ahead and put these dumplings in just drop them on in like that It doesn't take long for them to cook. Not at all. Let's drop them on in. I want to center them correctly so that they don't stick on each other. But that's it. So the dumplings are now in there. We're going to go ahead and... <laughs> I'm doing it with the fork. Uh -uh. Do not do this at home. Repeat, warning, do not do this at home. <laughs> all right, so this is all done. That has been taken care of. I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to put my band back on here like I'm supposed to. See how this goes here. Never goes right when you first time. I say never. Okay, you guys, it's all done. So we're gonna go ahead and plate this yumminess here. Look at that. Look at those dumplings. Mm. So this is our curry goat that we just finished. You and me together. Yummy, yummy. For our tummy tum tum. like this video please like and subscribe if you'd like to share it share it I thank you so much for joining me y'all 
I'll be seeing you soon. Um, I'm going to definitely try to upload a video at least once a week, if not twice a week. So you guys, y'all get the first bite, of course. <laughs> I'm not showing a bite, but you definitely get the first one. Y'all take care. Have a great day. Bye.